All right, man. So look, I got to make this quick, okay? I got to make this video a little quick because your boy food is on his way, okay? So y'all know I'm a little hungry, so the video will have to be a little quick. But without further ado, man, without further ado. See, I didn't even tell y'all I'm an intro. I didn't tell y'all nothing. I just said without further ado. See, this, I'm keeping all this in, too. Um, anyways, man. So we came across another crazy video for y'all. I came across another crazy video. I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. I need y'all to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. And without further ado, we finna go ahead, get straight into this video, man. Let's get it, let go. Um, slurs as the attack was broadcast on Facebook Live. Let's discuss now with CNN political commentators Peter Bynum. I also want to dang, I can pause the video, but I also want to say that this this situation right here is sad. Okay, it, it's literally sad, bro. Uh, but I'm gonna let y'all finish. Watching. Matt Come on. Lewis, also Simone Sanders, a former press secretary for Bernie Sanders. Okay, so listen, there's certain things that we I, I can't say that it's a hate crime because Chicago police won't say it. They're saying they're still investigating it. They're not investigating. They they're not done with their investigation. But when you look at this, Simone, they're saying. Uh, F white people, F Trump. How can you say it's not a hate crime against a white person? So first I want to say this is absolutely sickening. Uh, it's it's unfathomable that so much hate and anger can fill up a person where they go out and they think that this is okay. And then it was stupid to do it on Facebook Live, but that's a whole other story. So this is absolutely sickening. But I'm going to say something that's probably not very popular. We cannot callously go about classifying things as a hate crime. Motive here matters. So was this for hate of Donald Trump? Uh, the president-elect because of the things that he has said, or was this for pure hate of white people? That matters because if we start going around and anytime someone says something or does something really egregious, really bad and sickening in this instance in connection with the president-elect um, or Donald Trump or even now, President Obama. Now, look, I'm going to pause the video right there, okay? Because this, this is not even the worst part of the video. This, uh, look, we're going to watch the second part of this video right here. Okay, I already skipped to the part where y'all can see it and all that. I y'all already skipped to everything for y'all. So I'm doing my job. So I need y'all to do y'all job. Hit the like button. But look at this. She's telling me. Okay, she, she's telling me that calling somebody racial slurs, saying all this, this is all because, was this because of Donald Trump or was this hate towards white people? Y'all let me know what y'all think about it, but I'm going to play the video. Come on. Oh and you telling me all this is because of the hate of Donald Trump? So... They cut. They cutting off this man's head right now. This man's hair. Oh, shit, boy. <laughs> Damn, you cut it. Put a whole patch out of this, shit, boy. Why you yeah. do that? And no blood on the blade. <laughs> that was your dick. Donald Trump. <laughs> oh my brother, my. Y'all see this? Hey, right here. He represents Trump. We. This PBG high head. Hey, this PBG high head speaking. Y'all see this? Right here, we finna put this in the, in the, in the trunk and we finna put a brick on the gas and let that <laughs> You feel <him>? Okay. <laughs> now let's let's go back into the other video and watch what her response was to this video. Okay, so y'all just seen that video, right? Now we finna watch what she the rest of what she has to say. I don't know for that matter, because of their political leanings, mm -hmm. that is slippery territory. That is not a hate crime. Hate crimes are because of a person's racial ethnicity, their religion, their gender, a disability. It is in your political leanings because someone doesn't like your political okay. leanings and they do something bad to you. That is not a but hate Alice, crime. But Alice, even hate crimes, aren't all hate crimes motivated by stupidity? They're motivated by a lot of things, stupidity, um, heartlessness, thoughtlessness, carelessness, so many things. But clearly, I, I agree with Simone, this is uh, sickening to watch, sickening to think that um, some careless, thoughtless thugs would do something like this to someone who appears to be so innocent. But look, not to get too far ahead of the legal skis here, based on what we hear in the video, it does sound as though this was a hate crime. Uh, the language they used about referring to... that, And that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't tell me. I don't care what you. You can't tell me that this was not a hate crime. If you, if y'all want to watch the blur, like the unblurred and everything, you have to find that video on your own because I don't even know where it's at. But the slurs that they was using against this man, talk, call him all types of names, and you telling me this ain't a hate crime? Is it like? Let's be real for a minute, okay? Let, let's seriously be real. I'm not. I, 
it's been a long day, okay? But I'm going to say this anyways because I don't care. If this was a black person and white people was doing this to a black person, would they not say this was a hate crime? Let's say that. Let's say don't white people didn't like Trump. I mean, no, no, no. Let's say don't white people didn't like Obama. And the black person was supportive of Obama. Would you sit here and say, well, I mean, technically, if you want to be honest, I, I feel as if, you know, this was hate towards Obama and not the race of the. No, you would not. You wouldn't sit there and say that, bro. Let's really be real, bro. Let's actually break down the facts. This this is getting out of hand. The fact that we just won't accept the truth. This was a hate crime. Let's let's really be real. No, like. Seriously, this you don't have that much hate towards Donald Trump where you go out to a white person because it, it was black. It's black Trump supporters, too. OK, let, let, I'm, I'm one of them. So it, you but you aiming towards and then on top of that, you know, what make the situation so bad. This was a handicapped kid. This was a kid with a disability. That's what make it so bad. But they think it's OK. Oh, oh this is not a hate crime. This has to be because they did not not they did not like Trump. The stupidity in these young teens stop giving them sympathy. They are stupid. They are lost. They have f freaking fatherless households. They laughing, cutting off a white boy hair, calling him all type of racial slurs, bloody everything. It's just, bro, you can't tell me that all this was because they hate Trump. You, no, you can't tell me that. I'm sorry. I just don't buy it. I don't buy it. All this because they hate Trump. And then post it on Facebook a lot. No. I just don't buy it. It's just stupid. These people, these kids were stupid. That's what it was. Stupidity. Because if it was a black person going through the same things, y'all would have said it was a hate crime because that person is black. Let's really be real. The society we live in now. Mm -mm. Come on. I mean, I, am I lying, y'all? Let me know if I'm lying. If I'm lying, bro, I will take fault and say my bad. But let me know if I'm lying for real, for real. If this was a black guy, would this not have been called a hate crime against a black person? Would it not have been? It irks me that they really think like this. It, it, it really irks me. This is like, well, I agree with what she said, though. This is very, very sickening to watch. I'm going to play it one more time for y'all. Y'all let me know if this is not a hate crime or not. Like, y'all let me know. I'm going to play it one more time for y'all right here. All the all the bleeping and everything like that, that's all the racial slurs that they was throwing at this man. They really cut a ball spot in this man head. Oh, <laughs> Damn, you cut it. Put a whole patch out of this boy. Why you do that? Ain't no blood on the blade. That was you did. Donald Trump. Oh my brother. My Right, huh? He represents Trump. We, this PBG high head. Hey, this PBG high head is speaking. Y'all see this right here? We finna put this in the, in the, in the trunk. And we finna put a brick on the gas and let that. Bro, let the roles been switch. Please let the roles been switch. I just want to see what they would say if the roles would switch. I just, I'm like, I'm not begging for this to happen to nobody that that is my color or uh, people of color. I'm not begging for it to happen, but I just want to see what would they say if the roles was reversed. I'm seriously, seriously, I really want to know this. <laughs> you feel? Just ghetto and just, just you can tell they have no common sense, no home training. They just ghetto. They just want to be some thugs. Just ghetto, bro. Just ghetto. Screaming all these racial slurs, doing all these st stupid things, and then posting on Facebook Live. How stupid can you be to even put it out there on Facebook Live? Not even that stupid. It wasn't even. You know the the crazy part about the 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 dumbest part of the video. It wasn't even no putting it on Facebook Live. The dumbest part of the video was when they showed they they freaking face. That that that's the dumbest part of the freaking video. You you show your goddamn face while doing a hate crime, by doing a crime. Period. The the poor victim as a white person and the different language they used, and I hope it is classified as that because therefore the penalty will be much greater and they deserve the harshest penalty they can get. I'm like you, Don. I'd fear what my parents would do to me much more than what the law would do to me if if I was caught doing something like this. I just wonder. I never would. When you see that these these are 18 year old kids. And you look at the video, you're like, what is going on? What on earth? Why would anybody 
ever think that it was okay to treat another person like that for any reason, regardless of if, you know, if, if it's a disabled person, uh, if it's a mentally in, uh, physically incapacitated person, if it's a white person or black person, whatever. Why, why on earth, Matt, I just don't understand it. I mean, it's man's inhumanity to man. It's just, it's brutality is what it is. And I think the fact that this is a, a vulnerable person um, who was probably duped into uh, sort of going along with them, it, it appears, uh, somebody who, who is mentally disabled, I think makes it even more sickening. But, you know, Don, I mean, at, at the, the end of the day, um, you just try to wrap your head around evil. That's what this is. It's evil. It's, it's brutality. It's man's inhumanity to man. And... Um, for I, I don't think it's evil. I, I, I don't think it's evil. I think these are young people, and I think they have bad home training. I, I think that when I say who is raising these young people, I have no idea who's raising these young people because no one I know on earth who is 17 years old or 70 years old would ever think of treating another person like that. It is inhumane, and you wonder at 18 year old, at 18 years old, where's your parent? Where's well, parent? Where's your guardian, did Peter? Did y'all forget? Don, Don, wait, we, hold on. Let, let Peter answer, Simone, and then I'll, I'll bring you in. Go ahead, Peter. I, I don't know. I mean. Um... Did it's just that? after AP. I was I was watching that. I want to watch the fourth thing. That's crazy. I, I I couldn't even watch the fourth thing. I really want to see the rest of her answer because dog, for you not even to say this wasn't a hate crime and you say, oh, this hasn't been because of the hate be uh, the hate towards Donald Trump. Even if it was the hate towards Donald Trump, this has to be dealt with. It has to be labeled as a hate crime. I don't care. They need, like like she said, they need the worst punishment ever. It's not because of the color of their skin. It's because of what they did to an individual that had nothing to do with anything. The man was freaking disabled, handicapped. They treated this man so badly. But if the roles was reversed, I kid you not, I will bet my entire YouTube check. I promise you, it would have been considered a hate crime. I, I swear it would. You, you can't tell me it wouldn't. But since it's a white boy, it, it seems like it seems like since it's a white person, it don't matter. It, it don't really matter. Oh, it's not considered a hate crime. Oh, they just did this because they because they didn't have no love for Donald Trump. So they did these type of things when Donald Trump did a lot of things for the black community. But people don't talk about that. The, the people don't talk about that. They, they so stuck on Obama and like he did anything good. Like he did anything good for the community of blacks because apparently apparently we we always black people always voted democrats and they always it, 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 that's a whole nother topic i'm not even gonna get into that but i'm just saying though this is this is definitely a hate crime regardless of what anybody say come on man you can't tell me this ain't a hate crime you can't tell me you can't tell me but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below do you consider this a hate crime or do you consider this oh they only did this because they did not have love for donald trump even though this is not donald trump that was getting beat on they didn't have love for donald trump and he was a donald trump supporter so they beat him because they want him to suffer the consequences of uh voting for donald trump this is sad because even if they did do that we still have a voice to speak we still have an opinion the fact that they even took to, it took in consideration to say you know what i'm gonna do this to a person because if you if you follow donald trump then i'm gonna beat you i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that it, it just don't make sense all because of a political view y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below this is honestly sickening it's ridiculous you can't tell me it's not a hate crime but y'all let me know if it's a hate crime or if it's because of everything i just said right then and there uh, anyways man i love y'all god bless stay blessed peace